So the other question is, how do we breathe? It seems like an interesting question since we breathe all the time, but in, in the water and swimming, it, it's different. We have to get the breath when our heads are turned or lifted in butterfly, and then we put the head back down, and what do we do? is what do you do with the air once you bring your head back down and a lot of swimmers will bring their heads down and hold their breath blow it out real quickly before the next breath and get a little air exchange it's not a full breath it's just a little co2 out some oxygen in but that's not what the elite athletes are doing in freestyle at the race club we've observed that some of the fastest swimmers in the world release air bubbles from their noses after each breath in freestyle butterfly and breaststroke what they do is they get the breath, they come back down, and they trickle a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of air out of their nose, which then follows under their body and finds its way up to the surface. So you see these air bubbles coming under their body and then going up to the surface, and then they blow the rest of the air out right before the next breath. Now, why are they doing that? Well, we're not sure, but I think it's because it reduces drag. How do we know that? We find two examples that are pretty interesting that kind of confirm why they're doing that. One is cruise ships. Cruise ships out in the ocean, which are pretty big and massive, emit air bubbles under the hull to improve their gas mileage. And they get a lot more efficiency by having the air bubbles under the hull. The other example in nature that we see is penguins who trap air bubbles under their feathers, under their plumes. And when they're swimming along and the seal comes and said, you know, I'm hungry, I want to eat lunch, and they go after these penguins, they emit these air bubbles, they surround themselves with air, and they go forward extremely fast, lowering their drag coefficient, jump up onto the ice and out of harm's way. It may be that that air bubble coming under the chest is doing the same thing, reducing drag and enabling swimmers to actually go faster. World-class freestylers Margot Gear, Isabella Arcella, Amanda Kendall, and Zane Grothy demonstrate this technique of releasing the air bubbles underwater which end up underneath their bodies as the swimmers progress down the pool. We decided to test this air bubble theory in our Florida facility in Isla Morada using our propulsion drag meter technology with elite swimmer Nico Obrovac. The drag meter pulled Nico across a 50 meter pool in a streamlined position at a constant speed of 2.3 meters per second, which is about the peak speed of an elite freestyler. Synchronized to our video camera, the software is able to measure the frontal drag forces caused from Nico's body at each 0.05 seconds, collecting hundreds of data points over the 50 meter test. While holding the same hyper streamlined position, Nico held his breath during the first half of the 50 meter test and exhaled the air bubbles through the nose during the second half of the test. In the first 25 meters, with no air bubbles under his chest, Nico's average frontal drag force was 167 newtons. In the second half, with the air bubbles under his body, the average frontal drag force was 151.5 newtons, a reduction of 9.3%. By enveloping the underside of his body with air, Nico reduced the amount of drag on his body by nearly 10%, a remarkable technique to help him swim faster. So when we take the breath, we turn the head as little as possible back here, we get the air, we come in, we allow some air to come through our nose, under our bodies, the rest of it, right before the next breath, we blow out and we take another breath. And that's how we think you should breathe in freestyle. For a faster freestyle butterfly or breaststroke, take a lesson from the Emperor Penguins and release some air from your nose after each breath. If we keep that head too high, 
what's gonna happen is we're gonna get that mustache coming up onto the surface. It reduces frontal drag. It actually makes them slippery with the bubbles under their chest. 